Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Lena Tate coming to you today with another video. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I do some extended soft locks. But these are, as you can see, her hair is like a blonde color. So it is going to cover up completely her blonde hair. The spots where it may be like still blonde at the roots, I do use like a hairspray um, to cover up the blonde temporarily. So that way, you know, it's not like a permanent change. I use about seven packs of the extended locks because I extended every last lock. So I basically used two locks per braid. And then when it came to the wrapping part, I did use like one fourth of a lock for the wrapping part. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to basically two types of wrapping hair when it comes to wrapping the roots when it comes to the soft locks okay for one braid i'm going to show you guys how i use the soft locks hair to wrap that way you don't have to buy any other hair and then on the other lock i'm going to show you guys how i use like a curly i think it's like the free tress water wave hair and i'll wrap the roots with that and if you already know i use the shine and jam to put on her roots to get her roots smooth and that is what i'm just going to use i'm going to literally box braid her whole head and then i'll be back to show you guys what i'm about to do Robotic. Okay, after I'm done box braiding, then I'm going to start adding the locks to each braid. So when it comes to that, I use a crochet needle. You guys already know it's like a dollar at the hair store. I open the latch, put the loop onto the latch, close the latch, pull it through, okay? Once I do that, I open the latch again, and I pull the client's hair through that loop, which will provide a more of a knotless finish instead of it being a huge knot that is on the roots okay so i'm just going to do that for a couple of them until i'm ready to wrap Okay, now that I just went ahead and got two rows prepared, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take one of the pre-twisted locks, I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I'm gonna grab one half of the part that I cut, and I'm going to pull and piece apart it into two pieces. This is what I'm gonna to use to wrap the roots, okay? I'm only gonna use one piece. So basically, I'm only gonna use one fourth of a lock to wrap at the root her hair is not long you're not going to need anything longer than that now if somebody's hair is longer than that then you may need that one full you know half instead of that one fourth but her hair isn't long so it should cover now sometimes her hair is a little bit longer than how much i pull apart so i just go ahead and add another piece but that's what i use to wrap the roots the soft lock hair like i said if your hair is a little longer then you're going to use, you know, more than that fourth of a piece. So, yeah, you just keep on doing that. Keep on doing that. That is fine. You guys can use that method. You guys can use the soft lock hair if you like the way it looks. Um, do you, you feel like it gives it more of like a drier look, a drier texture, if that's what you're going for? This would definitely work for you, okay? So, I'm going to 
I'm going to go ahead and let you guys just kind of watch what's going on. This is the method basically I use for her head because it just worked for me. It gave To me, it gave it more of a realistic look. I think the other like curly hair gives it more of a shinier, more of a plasticky look. I don't know. That was just my opinion. So I just ended up going for this look with the hair that was already provided. Don't you wanna do it too? Acting like you don't see me When the only one I want is you You see my body I'm as fun in a room tonight Baby, don't fight it Cause you won't Okay, y'all, so right here, I'm going to use the Free Tress Water Wave hair. So I'm just going to just wrap like I've been doing all the other. I'm just wrapping it with zipping hair. So I'm just going to wrap it up with the roots, on the roots, a couple times, and then I'm going to just start wrapping down, okay? You're going to want to make sure that her hair is properly covered, though, you know, because you don't want to see that blonde through that black, okay? So I'm just going to wrap, 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 wrap. Making sure that it's covered, wrap, 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 and just keep going at it. Now, with this hair, I'm going to seal it with the nail glue because it's slippery hair. So, I'm, I'll feel more secure if I use nail glue. All right, y'all, so I hope you guys see the difference. The left side is the soft lock hair that's wrapped, and the right side is the free dress hair. So, yeah, and this is the final look. These are a couple of pictures I took of how it looks when it is finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that gave you guys a little bit more information about the hair that you use to wrap the roots from the soft locks with the soft locks. Now you don't have to have hair at all to wrap. You can just literally wrap the lock around your hair, whichever one's easier for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.